This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. As well as the ability to filter out by the text data fields, we can filter by any of the given date fields within a data set. So with our basic listing report, if I select the select expert, the only date field we have in here with any data in is the date of birth field. So I can select that field and OK. And in the options for comparisons, I can choose the same as before in that we could go is equal to and pick a particular date, is one of and pick odd dates in the list. But there are 389 employees and the chances are that all of them have different dates of birth. With the dates, we could go for is less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and they will work. So we could try one out, it's less than. And again, we could either choose a particular built-in date of birth, or we could type our own. So if we wanted everybody who was born before 01, 01, 1960, okay, refresh the data. And 30 of our employees were born before the 1st of the 1st, 1960. So were born in the 50s or the 40s. That could be quite useful if we were trying to determine the older of our employees if we're looking at redundancy or retirement. Perhaps we're interested in the younger set. So it is greater than 01, 01, 1980. OK. Refresh the data. Four of our employees were born after January the 1st, 1980. Again, we are filtering by a field that we cannot see, but it will still apply itself to the data. And in the field list, you can see that the date of birth field has a tick against it because it's being used. So the select expert, date of birth, and we have the options less than, greater than, is between, for between two dates. So it may be that I wish to find everybody who was born in the 60s. 01, 01, 1960, until 12, 31, 1969. When you use the between criteria, it is inclusive of the two outer values. So if there is anybody born 1st to 1st, 1960, they will fall into this criteria, and likewise at the outside value. OK, refresh, and it would appear 266 of our employees were born in the swinging 60s. Now when it comes to date criteria filtering, there is a nifty criteria built into Crystal Reports, is in the period. You will only see this criteria and its partner is not in the period if you have a date field selected. You will find, when you choose that is in the period, they are pre-built periods into Crystal Reports. These periods tend to be fairly common business periods. So you can see we have month to date, year to date, last seven days, over 90 days, next 30 days, last month to date, last year to date, etc, etc. Now when it comes to our employees' dates of birth, none of these fields will actually produce a result. However, if we open up the basic sales report that you'll find in your samples, this has sales information for our company and we will then be able to filter out the order date by some of those periods. So if I select the order date field and choose the select expert, it knows I want to filter by the order date. I can choose my comparison is in the period and I could choose year to date. Okay, refresh. And year to date, I've had three orders. Very busy year. I could choose the last full week, and that will get me the same three orders. The next 30 days. Okay, refresh. So over the next 30 days from today, I have 140 orders in the system. So you could see these is in the period options 
can be quite useful for business data. Looking at outstanding invoices, looking at recent sales, whatever the criteria might be. They are pre-built into the system and just require you to select the date field, is in the period, and then choose the period you're interested in. You will notice if we delete that and pick a different field, for example product name, those comparisons do not exist here. They only exist in date data fields. Okay, and refresh. And then return to the full record of sales. 